Okay, so today was a pretty awesome day for trading the treasuries. And um, it was great because there were just a lot of breakout opportunities to play. And you can kind of see what was going on with the, the order flow. Unfortunately, I uh, wimped out way too often and missed a lot of really good opportunities to take trades that would have been profitable. Um, today, you know, really with a, a little bit more discipline could have been just an insane, one of those insane days that just everything was working. So I have uh, right here, I've got the open. I'm at, I was actually a little bit late, um, but this is about what the price action looked like uh, when things got started. And I'm just going to move forward here because, you know, price kind of bounce around, bounces around a little bit early on. And then we start to slowly move up and start to look at, bra at breaking the Globex high. So when we get right about here, um, you know, one of the things that you notice here is you notice the firming up of the offers in the in the in the book, and you notice a lot of the offers. Uh, a lot of a lot of the you know the bulls are hitting into the offer pretty aggressively. You got seventeen, fifteen, eighteen, seventy nine, forty five, thirty five. Um, you just have a lot of aggressive buying, and it's supported um, by what's in the book. Okay. Now, obviously, you still have your, you know, your stuff that's pulling away, but let's just take a look here, and um, you can see, you know, all of a sudden the book is going to strengthen here. There it goes. Book strengthens. You start hitting into this offer right here. Uh, this really is a good place to hit in right here, um, kind of before she goes type trade. You have to expect that it's going to, you know, you're so close to the Globex high. You got to expect at least it's going to go up there and test that or get close to it. So you, you got an opportunity to get a couple, you know, at least a couple of ticks before turning around. And sure enough, here you go. Comes up here, you get this big print here, but it keeps going. So, you know, you're already up two, three ticks and it's still, it's still moving. Now you can see over here, I saw that bust out. I, I did a lot of this today. I did a lot of clicking and removing and clicking and removing and really wanting to get in, but finding that I'm, I was too late um, over here in the ZB. Um, but um, you know, it's just one of those one of those days for me. So um, let me just kind of do a little bit more of an overview here. So you know, price makes new highs. Um, it falls off of the highs. In fact, you know, one thing I would just want to point out. I mean, just look at the volume over here. Uh, you've got some incredible amount of, of buying volume that's happening just throughout the day. Look at that print at 77.57 here at 12 and a half. So lots and lots and lots of, of big, big volume coming in today. Gets up here to 13 and a half, 14. And one of the things that you saw over and over again is you'd see that there there would be a, a, you know, a range area created just below a high. And the price would start to move down and through that range area. So you have these, these little minor points of control, like right here. You've got a 124.13. you got a 13 even here. It's a point of control. And it would tick above, and then it would come down a little bit below it, maybe one or two ticks below it. And then all of a sudden, what you'll find is as, you know, the offers will – I'm sorry, the bids will firm up. So here we've got, you know, 1,800 bid. Uh, you know, some some bids have been pulled. Now watch, you know, as we get closer down here to 12, uh, all of a sudden you're going to see it firm up. And as soon as it firms up, then they start hitting in. There we go. Boom. Firms up. Now they're going to start hitting in at 13. And you see they just keep firming and firming and firming. The offers are pulling. And I'm just going to fast forward here a little bit. It kind of bounces around a little bit. But still, you know, look look at the, the firming up that happens. You get a lot of selling volume, but it's still firming up. And you get these icebergs that happen. So here we have 2011 prints right here. Notice we're kind of at the bottom of this, this beautiful bell curve type range here. 
And you can see, here I am. I'm thinking, boy, I really want to get in right here. In reality, I should be trying to get in right here at 12 and a half. But what was going through my mind is, okay, wh where would I have to exit? You know, would I have to exit this trade at, at really 10? Is that my my risk? And uh, so I got a little bit nervous there. But notice, you know, this two, two, 2011 had printed, and then it printed up to 11.50 up here on the offer. And then from here, it just kind of kept going and took off. We'll take a look here. You can see I'm still, I still kept playing around trying to think, okay, yeah, this this could move up a little bit further. And the other thing to notice um, today, notice how the three contracts are in sync. Unlike yesterday where they were just completely out of sync, today they're totally in sync. Uh, when one is busting through its highs, the other one busts through its highs. Again, here I go, pulling another order. And... You can see here, um, we're about to crack the highs again. We're about to crack the highs over here in ZB and, and also in ZF. And we're pulling a little bit on the, on, the, on the bids. And then what we'll see, we pull down a little bit. And now we firm up, start, start to see a lot of movement here on the bids. Printing the, the 727 printed. And then here we go, cracking the highs again. So you can you can kind of tell, you can see when 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 they start to get aggressive and they start moving these orders around in the book, um, then they start hitting into the offer. You got to be really fast to hit this. And you can see they're going up. They went up over here. I mean, every, everywhere they just keep hitting, you know, hitting this and pushing it up further. Um, so at this point, I'm going to come back here and kind of move it ahead. So again, what we what we're doing is we're, we're retracing back. Now we retrace back to this. We have a, a you know kind of a high volume node here, not totally high volume compared to everything else, but a little bit. And we come here and. You know, again, just the pattern that I saw over and over again. You, you see stuff over here in the market profile. You see the price retrace back. You see the the bids pulled, and then all of a sudden they firm up, and then they start hitting. And so it's like they're pulling back to these areas, and you can kind of see the areas of support here in the market profile. And then and then you can see what they do is they pull their orders, bringing the price down, and then all of a sudden they firm up their orders and they start hitting in. So you can tell they're just, they really are in control. I mean, it, it, this really is a situation where the bulls are, you know, their bulls are in control. And so they, they actually had come down to that 13 and a half level. Now they brought it back up to 15, 16, and here they go. Um, you can see these big prints. And right here, look at this, this big number supporting the push through. Um, big iceberg right here at the top. So if you're hit, if you're hitting if you're getting into this you're getting in at 16 which is top of the market but you're supported by all this right down here if it's for real if this is for real then you know you're going to go a couple extra ticks so I'm going to pause it let's skip ahead and see if it was for real look at that six sixty five hundred on the bid hitting into the bid and it's holding with a you know, holding with a huge iceberg, 9,100 orders added to this level, and boom, busts up through 16, 17, 17 and a half, all the, all the way up to 17, basically. Now we get a little bit of a, of a retracement back, and again, seeing this pattern, where I've got an I've got a kind of a, a range and a and a bit of a higher volume node, a step in the profile here. So I'm I'm seeing this kind of kind of pull back and I think well maybe it's time for me to finally get into this and it pulls back here right down here to 15 and a half and I'm watching what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the switch where we start adding there we go and they they they've hit in the sellers are not really around 
Still kind of waiting for a good shot here. I'm kind of expecting this area to hold. Okay, now you get you're getting a lot more that are adding here to the bid. Boom, 2,800 right there. That's probably a great place to get in. Um, I didn't get in there. I ended up getting in right here at 16. But 3,900 printed there, 3,200 printed there. Uh, the bids have firmed up. I've got this step in the profile. And so I hit in at 16. And uh, this was a psychological exit. So yesterday, I had a difficult trading day. And I got into a trade where I got trapped. And I exited with two ticks. So today, I get into a trade where I got a free look right here. I'm, I feel pretty good about the trade. I know it, I know it's going to come up to 17, 17 and a half to at least test those highs. And sure enough, it does. I'm just trying to fast speed things up a little bit here. And I think, hey, I got my two ticks. <laughs> I'm I'm break even uh, between yesterday and today. Let me take out because I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, it may reverse here. Um, I don't know what caused me to exit here. You know, only 69 had printed down. Um, maybe I, th I expected a little bit more aggressiveness up here, you know, hitting at 17 and a half. But, you know, basically what happened is I exit and this thing skyrockets, you know, shoots up. You know, so I was in at 16. Here it is trading all the way up here at 19. I mean, you know, 18 and a half is where I could have exited. Uh, there night hits 19 there hit 19 and a half I mean I gave up a lot of extra <laughs> ticks on that one just you know mostly because uh, I was worried about making back my two tick loser from yesterday which is really kind of ridiculous so you know again we got to pull back price pulls back here to that 16 16 and a half level 17 level and um, you know here's here's an example where you get an iceberg that actually failed. So you, know, you can see here, uh, they're hitting right here into this level, this 17 level. And they're trying to protect it. The bulls are trying to protect it. And you can see a lot of stuff hitting in here. And uh, you know, finally, I think the bears wanted this. This was probably a reasonably good setup to look at to go long it probably would have cost you a couple of ticks. But if you took this similar setup all day, uh, then, then this would have been probably your only loss for the day. And you can see big iceberg here. And uh goes up and down, and eventually it's going to come back down a little bit lower, down here to 15, 15 and a half. All right, so right about here, we have another iceberg. Okay, so again, back to this pattern. Um, we've come down here to kind of the bottom area of the range. Okay, so we've come down here to 15 and a half, 16. You know, again, I was contemplating this area, thinking I, I can lean on this 15, 14 and a half area. The same pattern came down here, started to firm up right here at 16, dropped down here to 15 and a half, firmed up again. 16 would have been a great spot to hit in, uh, hit in here. And another, you'll see another iceberg here on the bid side. There we go, 32, 3,400. This time you have a little bit more uh, support in the profile than you did at that previous 17 level iceberg. And then it pops right back up. So again, another another opportunity to pick up, you know, two three ticks off that uh, that pullback, and um, and then, you know, lo and behold, it it does it again. Comes right back down here to the support level. They suck you in. And the bulls are sucking sucking in the bears, and then they firm up, and they hit. This was done all day long, pulling. Pulling back into the lower part of the market profile range, firming up and reversing, boom, and they're they're back to the other side, comes back down. It just happened all day long, and then every once in a while you get the occasional break through the uh, the 
you know, the upper extreme. Okay, so I, I fast forward it a little bit because let's take a look at that break through the upper extreme. So it had come all the way back down here to 15 and a half, 16, came all the way back through. And now look, you get this big, you know, big, big iceberg right here as they're trying to push this up and they start hitting it. So again, you know that this is this is that time where they said, yeah, you know, we're not going to bring it back through the range again. We want to push this up uh, a little bit higher. And here they go. They start hitting into the offer. But you can kind of tell their pattern. I mean, look at this, 5,700 right here. That's huge. It's probably real. Most of it's probably real. Even if it's not real, it's big enough to kind of scare it up a little bit. So I'm just going to fast forward here. So we pop up another another few ticks. Um, up to 24 now. We hit 20, 23 and a half, 24, 24, 25. And just an absolute, you know, constant um, pattern here coming back and forth and down and uh, and then back up. Here we are, bottom bottom edge of that range. You know, we see that. So this is one of the funnest you know, funnest things to watch here. Um, I'm going to pull this back here for a second. Okay, so I, I fast forwarded because I wanted to show this part of the video. Um, this has got to be the largest iceberg I think I've ever seen uh, watching the order flow. And uh, granted, it hasn't been a lot of years, and I'm sure I'll see this over and over again in the treasuries. But you know, just notice this 23 area right here. We're trading it at almost 4,000 contracts. Now, this is again another uh, that same pattern where the bulls pushed it through the highs. They made a little range here. They brought it down to the bottom edge of the range, and they tried to turn it turn the market and flip it back up to go back up. But there's somebody sitting here saying, uh-uh, well, I'm not doing that this time. And you can see here, I've got 4,000 contracts. Now I'm gonna try to move this real quick over. So watch, 4,400, 44, 4,500 almost. There we go, 48,962. Look at the number of contracts that have been added here, 10,246. So 8,000, 10,000 contracts trade right here going up to the buy side and it doesn't budge at all in fact it goes down so the bulls just got hammered by someone trying to sell now the important thing to note that's probably not new money that's probably old money or that's probably you know the guys that were down at the bottom pushing this all the way up all day have decided yeah okay I'm I'm done I'm taking my profit and and exiting but you know, and even still, look at what it caused. It caused a deeper pullback um, coming coming much further down. And, of course, you know, the, the bulls weren't done today. You know, they just kind of kept going. So you see them for the rest of the day just kind of pushing, uh, pushing things up, you know, further and further, kind of still continuing to play the games um, a bit. Here they go. They, they pop it back up again, you know, another time. So that was kind of the nature of the day was just, um, you know, Push it up, pull it back a little bit, you know, find an area of support, um, push it back up again, pull it back, and it was just repeated all day. Really great day. If if you can spot days like this on a regular basis when they occur, I think there's just a lot of money to be made.